Welcome to the video 2 for coordinate geometry. We will be discussing more about a slope of a line, right? My name is Pushpinder Gill. This is my email address, pushpinder08 at gmail.com. Do not forget me, forget to send your valuable feedback to me regarding the videos. And uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, you must have watched the video 1 on coordinate geometry where you must have understood that the slope of the line is equal to the tangent of the angle made by the x-axis and the line, right? Let me just go, go ahead and give you the brief overview about it. Let's suppose this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, right? And let's suppose this is the line containing two points, right? So these are the end points of the line. This point over here, it's x1, y1 and this point over here, it's x2 and y2. Right. So let's just define what uh, for for the viewers who haven't watched the video one on coordinate geometry. Let me just define what the slope means. If I just uh, uh, rewind the line back to the x axis and uh, calculate what is the angle made by the line and the x axis. And if I calculate the tangent of that angle, that is equal to the slope. Right. But every time you will not be given this angle every time. I said 99% of the times you will not be knowing this angle. So there must have to be an, another way to calculate the slope of the line, right? So let's just see that method. Okay. Now if this is equal to y2, if this is equal to y2, that means this hole from this point, from point B to point, let's say D, it's, it's equal to y2. Okay. And similarly, from point A, till point let's say uh, e it is equal to y1 because the coefficient is y1 over here uh, the point coefficient of uh, y coefficient of uh, point a right so if this is equal to y1 this whole is equal to y2 and if i draw a line like this the the, the uh, distance from here till here it's going to be y2 minus y1 right similarly from this point to this point uh, this it is going to be equal to x2 right and from here till here it is going to be equal to x1 because of the coefficients similarly the base of the angle would be given by x2 minus x1 so this, this we have formed a rectangle over here wherein this perpendicular it's equal to y2 minus y1 and this is a 90 degree over here and this is equal to x2 minus x1 now since this line is parallel to x-axis, this line over here, it's parallel to x-axis. That means if this is angle alpha, this will also be equal to alpha, right? So now what we have to do is, we just have to find the tangent alpha. Now what is tangent? Tangent is equal to perpendicular upon base. Now if you can see clearly over here, the perpendicular of this angle is equal to y2 minus y1 and the base of this angle it's equal to now this is the base now this over here is the base is x2 minus x1 so from this we can easily derive we have easily derived the slope of the line which is denoted by m always so the slope of the line has been derived so uh, if if the point if the line passes through two points let's suppose x1 y1 and x2 y2 if we need to calculate the slope and we haven't been given the angle that it makes uh, with the x axis so we can use this expression over here and calculate the slope of the equation fine right so let's just go ahead and solve the uh, solve a simple question of it now a line point line passes through these two points and we have to calculate its slope now since we have to calculate its slope, which can be easily calculated, that would be 2 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2. That is again equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Fine. So it doesn't matter which uh, point you're taking as x2. If one point, if this point is, has been taken as x1, the other point will be taken will be as x2 if this is taken an x1 this will be taken as x2 fine so it doesn't matter the order does not matter here right so the slope would be equal to 1 in this case fine right i hope everyone understood what we did over here and uh, do not forget to watch all the videos on coordinate geometry plus uh, the practice video as, as well where i'll be solving many complex questions but this was about just the basic concept 
that the slope of the line is given by this formula and the derivation of that formula right so thank you very much and uh, see you next video